Hello everyone, nice that you are watching the live Q&A of Cobra Oil Paint. You can ask questions live and we try to answer them and perhaps also demonstrate something. I am Merel Jansen, an artist and I work at Royal Talent as a technical advisor. I will mainly answer the artist questions. Hello, I am Goos and I work at the lab of Royal Talents. One of the products I work on is Cobra. This is a live Q&A, but we already received many questions. The first main question is, what is Cobra? Cobra is an oil paint. Only this oil paint can be mixed with water. And like any oil paint, this consists of a coloring part, pigment and a drying oil, linseed oil. This linseed oil is modified so that it can be diluted with water. So this together makes the basis for Cobra oil color. Cobra therefore does not contain water, but it can be mixed with water. It's attractive to work with Cobra water mixable oil color because you do not have to use turpentine. Cleaning brushes and painting knives can be done simply with water and soap. I'm going to mix some colors now that you can see how I mix it with water and how, how does it work. You see a little color shift when you mix with water. This will disappear when it dries. When you use the paint without water, there will be no color shift. I'm going to mix it really well together. And then I will put it on the canvas board I have left of me. You see that mixing is very easy, but it takes some time. It's slow TV. <laughs> okay. And now I use a pure Cobra oil. And you see that this one is a bit darker. But like Go said, this color change will disappear. So this is going to be like this when it's dry. Another question. Um, are the Cobra colors light fast? Uh, very simple, yes. All colors of Cobra study uh, and artists have three pluses. And you can see them. I have a Cobra study tube here, another one, an artist. So this is the artist, this study. And you see those three pluses. Um, this means uh, this is 100 year light fastness in museum conditions. Uh, this is the highest ranking in light fastness you can have. Another question. How strong is the smell of Cobra while painting? Um, you have this particular linseed oil smell. But because you do not, do not need solvents, there are no toxic smells <coughs> while painting. Our Cobra and, and also our traditional oil paints contain no solvents. And in what qualities Cobra is available, uh, I already showed you. This is study and artist. And um, we are going to show you a brand new instruction video of the Cobra qualities. Um, this is one of the many videos uh, which are now available on YouTube and our Royal Talents channel. Have fun! 
In which grades is COBRA available? COBRA is available in the grades COBRA Artist and COBRA Study. Very high quality pigments are used in the COBRA product range. Both grades enjoy the highest degree of light fastness as indicated by the three plus signs. Under museum conditions, they will remain unchanged for at least a hundred years. Cobra Artist is an artist quality water mixable oil paint with an exceptionally high degree of pigmentation. Only the very best pigments and oils are used. During the grinding process, the paint is ground on the triple roller mill until it reaches artist quality fineness. The range consists of 70 powerful transparent, semi-transparent, semi-opaque and opaque colors. The range includes 32 monopigmented colors. There are also 10 colors based on highly exclusive pigments such as the cadmiums, cobalts and chromium oxides, as well as an exceptionally transparent oxide red or yellow. Cobra Study is lower in price than Artist because it contains less pigment. It is based on the Artist range, so it includes the same colors, but the more expensive pigments, such as the cadmium colors, are not included. These pigments are too expensive to include in the Study range. The Study range consists of 40 powerful semi-transparent, semi-opaque and opaque colors all have the highest degree of light fastness. So that was nice, huh? Um, another question. Uh, what are the basic colors uh, you need? If you want to start painting, it is useful to know what the basic colors are um, for your palette. We've got another video for you and then we show you what the basic colors are. Cobra Basic Palette. So you want to start painting with Cobra for the first time. In this video, we show you what you will need to do this. Of course, you can also choose to buy a set that contains everything you need. You can also create your own basic palette. As a tip, we suggest these colors that you can use to produce a broad color spectrum. You can also choose Cobra Study. Cobra Artist and Study colors are the same in terms of pigment, and you get the same shades when they are mixed. This is the basic palette for Cobra Artist and Study. We use Titanium White, Permanent Lemon Yellow, Primary Magenta, Primary Cyan, Ultramarine Blue and Burnt Umber. Titanium White is an opaque, fresh white that is invaluable for any palette. You can make any color lighter with white, of course. Primary Magenta gives you a beautiful pink. We have chosen Primary Lemon Yellow, a cold and bright light yellow, when used with ultramarine blue, you can produce a wide range of greens. If you add burnt umber, you can produce many variations of colder, yellow-brown shades. Primary magenta is a transparent, warm and deep red-pink. When combined with primary lemon yellow, you can get an incredibly beautiful orange. Primary cyan is a clear, cold blue. When mixed with titanium white, you get a nice clear light blue with greenish tones. Primary cyan is also a fantastic blue to achieve bright greens. It is best to mix it with a clear fresh primary lemon yellow. Ultramarine is a warm transparent blue with red undertones. This blue can be used in many different ways. Mixed with white, you get a wide range of pale blues. Because ultramarine is already a warm color, if you mix it with primary magenta, you get warm, deep purples.
Mixed with titanium white, you can produce a wide range of light browns. Burnt umber, mixed with ultramarine, produces a vibrant deep black. With the black you've just mixed, you can use titanium white to produce all sorts of greys. In what ways does Cobra differ from traditional oil paints? Well, the answer is, with Cobra water mixable oil colors, you can paint in the same way as with traditional oil colors. I've got two um, uh, oil paints here, a very used Cobra tube, Ultramarine, and uh, the Talents Art Creation Ultramarine. So the same pigment is in it. There is a difference between the quality. This is an artist quality and this is uh, uh, the, the, the entry level. And you see, it's very the same. The shine is the same. The feeling is the same. Of course, you cannot feel it by a live stream. But you have to uh, believe me. Here you see the, the this one is m much brighter. I don't know if you can see this on video, <laughs> but it is exactly the same. And it also dries exactly the same. You can see that, that on this little canvas, this is Cobra white and it's already dry. It dried for uh, two months now, I think. And this is Rembrandt titanium white. So the same pigments, same paint, and you see no difference, only a bit shine difference, but you, um, that's the only thing. So the brush strokes are the same. Cobra is an oil paint. Um, and the only difference is that you can mix, of course, Cobra with water. So if I, I will do it with both. You already see a little color change. This won't work, you see, it doesn't mix at all. And this does. So all the rules you know about oil painting are the same for Cobra. Cobra is an oil paint. Uh, we received uh, some questions about this topic. Is there any, of is there an oily component in Cobra as well? Yes, there is an oil in Cobra. All Cobra contains oil. The only difference with traditional oil is that this oil paint is mixable with water. The look and feel of Cobra and all the oil paints are identical. And we showed that. Uh, another question. Do you need turpentines to wash Cobra off? No, very simple, no. You do not need turpentines, but you can easily clean your materials with water and soap. Another question, what paper works best with Cobra? That's oil paper. And we, we've got a big scoop now. Next year, we are going to introduce Cobra oil paper. This is paper especially for oil paint. This paper has a special preparation, internal and external sizing. The oil doesn't come through the paper. It stays on it. Uh, can Cobra be combined with traditional oil paint? That's, uh, I'm going to show you. I can make some plays. Um, the answers are simple. Yes, it can 
be combined with traditional oil paint. Um, here. Do it here. I've got Cobra here, titanium white. And if I use 75% Cobra, and then I have to get a traditional oil paint. A cadmium yellow Rembrandt. And if this is going to be 25%, I don't have a skill here, but this is mainly Cobra. Of course it's mixable, but in this Re ratio, ratio, it still is water mixable. So mix it very well. So yes, you can mix traditional oil paints with Cobra. And if you use 25% traditional oil paints and 25% Cobra, you can also mix it with water. The next question. Uh, how is the drying time compared to traditional oil? Well, Cobra and traditional oil paints have the same drying time. Still, this totally depends on the thickness of the layer. We advise to varnish when you are 100% sure the painting is completely dry. And we say that's after 9 till 12 months. It is hand dry by 3 or 5 days. But also this strongly depends on the color and the conditions of your workplace. When it's hand dry, you can paint another fatter layer on it. And another question is, how can I determine if my oil painting is dry? When you touch the paint carefully, you can feel if it's dry. Very simple. And if your fingers are clean, then it's, uh, it's dry. Um, what are the differences between acrylics and Cobra oil? You've got some examples. Maybe you can mm -hmm. see them here. This is already dry. Is it okay right here? Yes. This is an acrylic and it's dry, as you see. And this is an oil. It's not completely dry, as you see. The top layer is dry, but inside not yet. I did this two, three weeks ago. You see, okay, there's a lot of difference in, uh, in thickness and in uh, viscosity. Do you say it like that? Mm -hmm. This was like this, and I'm going to show you that in this color. This is also acrylics cobra. Same color, same pigments, but you see a lot of differences. Not only shine, but also the brush strokes are uh, almost gone here, and you still see them in Cobra. And to show you that I'm not lying, I am... Look at that. Yes. There's nothing wrong with acrylics, but it's just another paint. Acrylics are um, on an acrylic base, and this is on an oil base. And oil doesn't evaporate, and water does. So it shrinks. You see all the weird thingies you want to make in this? It will stay like this. And sometimes they say about oil, what you see is what you get. So if I if I'm going to dry it like this, it's going to stay like this. And that's totally different with acrylics. If I do it like this, 
it will shrink completely. And the shine will partly disappear. Um, so there can be the same pigments in acrylics and cobra, and both they are mixable with, with, uh, with water, but it is a totally different paint. Uh, acrylic is dry within 30 minutes or even faster, and oil stays open for at least a day. Acrylics dry also very different than oil, what I already said ac actually. Acrylics shrink and the color changes. That's what you hear see this is a very bright color right now this has no difference but this really does and even if i do it like this you see the big difference yes <coughs> uh, next question can cobra be mixed with acrylics well everything is possible but we cannot guarantee what happens in the long term Acrylic is a different paint with a different drying time. So I can imagine that this can cause problems. So I wouldn't advise it. How do you use Cobra mediums? Mediums influence the properties of the paint and are necessary for a sustainable construction of your painting. We've got the... Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of mess here. The mm. painting yeah. medium and the quick dry medium and the glazing medium. This one makes your paint. <laughs> this one makes your paint uh, more fluid and more fat, more oily. The uh, 93 quick drying medium. Uh, your painting, of if you mix it with, uh, with Cobra oil paint, your paint will dry faster. And this last one, glazing medium, uh, it's more oil inside the medium for glazing techniques. And you can see the differences between it. This is Cobra with medium. This is Cobra medium and water. And this is Cobra and water. We see this is gonna, it's more transparent and shinier. And you don't have this kind of uh, rough uh, canvas structure in your paint. So, next question. How much water do I need in order to have more flow when using a palette knife or a brush? Well, water makes your paint longer and more fluid, less tough. We recommend not to use too much water. Just a little bit of water is enough. Can you use the Cobra medium with water as well? Yes, all the Cobra mediums are water mixable. I love questions. Do you need a special linseed oil for Cobra? Uh, we recommend to use the Cobra mediums. These are water mixable. Are the mediums opaque? No, you already see it. All the mediums are transparent. And what about the varnish? Uh, can I use regular varnish spray or do I need a special one? Uh, you can use all the old paint varnishes. Cobra has oilless varnishes in spray can. And we have a video that shows the varnishes with different gloss levels. Varnishes. After 9 to 12 months of drying, the painting can be varnished if desired. This gives your painting extra protection to keep your paint layer in top condition for as long as possible. This allows you to protect your work against damaging external influences. You also apply the desired degree of gloss. We offer Cobra Matte, 
satin, and gloss. The varnishes are based on synthetic resin, odorless white spirit, and for the matte and satin versions, matting agent. Always ventilate the room well while varnishing. Before you start varnishing, it is important that both the spray can of varnish and your canvas are in the same room for a few hours in advance. This allows them both to come to the same temperature, which prevents condensation from forming on your work and a white film from being produced under the varnish after varnishing. Hold the spray can about 30 to 40 centimeters away from your work while spraying. Start spraying outside your work first and then go over your work. Do not spray in the same place for too long. Hold the can upside down until no more varnish comes out. The cap is now clean and you can use it again. On this canvas, you can see the three different varnishes alongside each other. The top left is unvarnished. The top right has a matte varnish. The bottom right is satin and the bottom left is gloss. Other oil paint varnishes can also be applied to a Cobra painting. In addition, all varnishes are reversible. We received another question. How does the Cobra quick dry medium affect the fat over lean rule when painting in layers? Well, um, the quick drying medium, uh, it, is a f it is fatter. It's, it's the same as the painting medium, only you can work faster in layers. So if you use it constantly, then you use it the same as the painting medium. So constantly fatter. Um, in the, we have a video about the how to build up a Cobra oil painting. So maybe that's nice to watch. And if you hear Cobra painting medium, you can also uh, hear Cobra quick drying medium. I hope I answered your question right. <laughs> Another question. Can I clean my brushes with water and soap? Yes, you can. You can easily clean, clean it with water and soap. And we will show you in another video more about this. Brushes. Each technique calls for a different brush. In addition, you will naturally have your own preferences. Brushes with long handles act as an extension of your arm. These are good for working on an easel. Short handles are used for detailed work. In this case, you are often closer to the work. Different types of brush are also suitable for thin or thick paint. If you are working with thick paint, a stiffer brush is recommended. A hog bristle or selected filament brush. These brushes can pick up a lot of paint in one go. Hog bristle brushes are usually not suitable for detailed work. Selected filament brushes have a synthetic bristle, are very resilient and retain their shape well. These brushes are better suited to detailed work. If you want to work with diluted cobra or paint in very fine detail, you need a brush that can absorb a lot of water. An ox ear bristle brush, ox hair for example. This brush absorbs a reasonable amount of moisture and you can use it for both loose and fine work. This brush is less suitable for thick clumps of paint. A red sable brush is a flexible brush that absorbs a lot of moisture and allows you to paint the finest lines. This brush is less suitable for thick clumps of undiluted paint. An ox hair brush is a somewhat coarser than the sable hair brush. And if you want to watch more videos, uh, you can see that on our website. Uh, we received some more questions. The question was if um, a mixture of cobra and water dries quicker than pure cobra. And yes, it does, a little bit. Very uh, little answer, but yes, with water. Water evaporates, then the oil stays, but it's a little quicker than pure cobra. 
And we had another question. Ah, the soap, yes. Uh, well, we have a Cobra soap. It talks about uh, uh, soap a lot, that you can um, make your brushes clean with water and soap. But um, you can use any soap you like. But in my opinion, don't use a very aggressive soap. Because if you um, paint with animal hairs, animal hair brushes, then it will dry really. It's like um, shampooing your hair with, uh, with a dishwasher soap. You don't want that. It's, it's going to be like straw. How do you say that? Straw. It's too aggressive. Right. So use um, a normal soap. Um, are all the questions answers, answered or do we uh, have more questions? Well, of course, you can still uh, ask questions also after this live Q&A. We won't be live anymore. Uh, we're going to end this Q&A, um, but we've got one last thing we would like to share with you. On Instagram, we have had a giveaway. You could win a nice Cobra present. The five winners are... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> one. Chandeep Bedi, congratulations. Art by Marcia. Frederica Marinaro. Claire Elise. And Blooms Aplenty. Nice names. Congratulations. And have a nice day, evening or morning. I don't know how, how late it is at your place. Uh, thank you for your attention. We hope you liked it. For more information, check our website royaltalents.com and our YouTube channel for all the new Cobra instruction videos. Bye bye. Bye bye.